Yes, this is 7 p.m. class. Today is Friday. We are about to start. Just waiting for everyone to come in. Today is Friday. Hello, guys. Hello. Welcome. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Good evening, Manuel. Hello. Can you hear me, guys? Hello, guys. Welcome. Hello, Everybody teacher. Say, hello. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Okay, everybody say hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. Thank you for coming. Okay, today is Friday. Today is Friday. Everybody say today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday, today is Friday guys. Best day of the week. Am I right? Am I right? Best day of the week? No. All right. Yeah. Yes. You are right. Thank you for coming. Okay, Rosa Maria, how are you? Um, I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you for coming. How was your day? Uh, my date is good. My day was good. That was good. Uh, I, I did not come to class on Wednesday uh, because uh, because I had a, a meeting of neighbors from my building. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, you had a meeting with your neighbors. Okay. Building. Okay. Yes. What was the meeting about? El a meeting el for review accounts. Okay, good. Ac accounts. Accounts. Review accounts. Okay, good. Cuentas. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, good. That was good. We're going to do a review of what we did yesterday. I want to talk to Manuel. Manuel, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Good. How was your day? Um, very good. Uh, bien, teacher. Okay. Tengo problemas con el audio. Un, un, Deme un momentito. Tengo okay. problemas con mi audio, con mi audio, con mis audífonos. Un momentito, por favor. No problem, no problem, no worries. Okay, Lisette, how are you? How are you, Lisette? Hello. Hi, teacher. Uh, I am very well. Very good, okay. Did you have a good day? Yes. Yes, it was a good day. What did you do? Uh, my day, I read a book after cooking. Uh, after um, uh, working hard. Good. I was working hard. I was working hard. I, I was working, working hard. hard. Good. A lot of work. Mucho trabajo esta semana. Yes, a lot of work. Okay. Uh, Carmen, hello. Este teacher, todavía me falta, ¿no? No, no te preocupes, no te preocupes, dilo conmigo, dime, hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Very good, dime, how are you? How are you? How are you, very good. Yo te voy a preguntar a ti, how are you? Tú me haces decir, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine, very good. Entonces, una pregunta típica mía, how was your day? Dilo conmigo, Carmen, how was your day? How was your day? Very good. How was your day? Yo te voy a preguntar, tú me vas a decir, my day was good. My day was good. Was good. My day was good. Very good. Eso anda apuntándolo. Son los primeros, como hoy es viernes, Friday, te vamos a practicar conversation. Y primero, obviamente, preguntas básicas de conversation. How are you? How was your day? Por ejemplo, me pueden decir, I had a good day. I had a good day. Díganlo conmigo. I had a good day. I had a good day. I had a good day. Very good. My day was good. My day was good. My day was good. My day was good. Very good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Everybody say, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay. Yesterday, I'm going to mute the mics for a minute. Okay. We'll parar los micrófonos. Mics are off. Yesterday, we worked on this dialogue. Vimos este diálogo ayer, pero no lo íbamos a traducir todo. We worked on the dialogue. I don't know if we're going to have time. I want to take a look at the vocabulary. These are some very simple phrases. Okay. 
antes de revisar el diálogo, quiero ver estas frases sencillas, ok, just like a warm up, y quiero asegurarme que todos lo entiendan, ok, yes, lo primero, quiero que digan conmigo, everybody say, I am tall, I am tall, our mics on, you can turn on your mics, turn on your mics please, pueden encender sus micrófonos, I am tall. I am tall. I am tall. Very good. I am tall. Manuel, ¿qué significa I am tall? Soy alto. Very good. Okay. She is nice. Everybody say, she is nice. She is nice. She is nice. ¿Qué significa she is nice? Ella es agradable. Ella es simpática. Ella es. Right. My cat is cute. My, my cat, cat is cute. cute. My cat is cute. All right. ¿Qué significa my cat is cute? Mi gato es lindo. Mi gato es bonito. Oh, adorable. Adorable, yes. Very good. Good. These are all adjectives. Okay, let's take a look at the instruction. Adjectives can go after a be verb. All right. Este es el be verb. Y el adjetivo va después. Es lo único que está diciendo, mm -hmm. right? Adjectives can go after a be verb. Okay, point number two. Adjectives can go before a noun. Antes de un sustantivo. Right? This is noun. I have a big house. Very easy. Muy sencillo, chicos. Díganlo conmigo. I have a big house. I have, I have a, a big house. house. I have a big house. That That is a nice bag. That, that is a nice bag. bag. Very good. He is a good teacher. He, he is, is a, a good teacher. teacher. Okay. I have a big house. Tengo una casa grande. Tengo una casa grande. Good. That is a nice bag. Ese es un bolso es bonito. Una bolsa bonita, sí. Good. He is a good teacher. Él es, Él es un, un buen, buen profesor. profesor. Very good. Thank you. And you can put adjectives together. It says, he is smart and funny. Everybody say, he is smart and funny. He is a smart and funny. And funny. Very good. ¿Qué significa? Él es inteligente y divertido. y divertido. Very good. Smart. Smart es como astuto, right? Inteligente, yes. She is kind and friendly. Everybody says, she, she is kind, and, she kind, is kind and, friendly. and friendly. Good. ¿Qué significa? She is kind and friendly. Ella es simpática y amigable. Okay, good. Kind, yo le diría amable. Amable. Amable o cortés. Good. Y ahora con three adjectives. She is tall, strong, and fast. She is tall, strong, and fast. Very good. She's tall, strong, and fast. Good. Tall, strong, and fast. ¿Qué significa? She is tall, strong, and fast. Ella es alta, fuerte, y rápida. Very good. The test was hard, long, and boring. Everybody say, the test was hard, long, and boring. That this was hard, long, and boring. That's right. Very good. ¿Qué significa? El examen fue duro o difícil, largo y aburrido. Yes. Very good. Thank you, guys. Everybody say thank you, teacher. Thank, thank you, teacher. Before I go on to conversation, I wanted to review this uh, dialogue. That's what we read yesterday. We read this dialogue. Okay. I'm not, but we didn't translate every line. We just read it. There were some mistakes, corrections pending. I'm going to choose some phrases, okay? I don't think I have time to do it all. I'm going to choose some phrases. For example, um, uh, let's see. This one, San Francisco is very expensive. Everything is expensive. Food is expensive. Housing is expensive. I think this is simple, right? Okay, I want to have a volunteer. Puede ser Manuel. Manuel, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I can hear you. Okay, Manuel, very good. Can you read this sentence? Uh, yes, San Francisco is very expensive. Everything is expensive. Food is expensive. Who's Housing is expensive. Shopping is expensive. Everything. Everything. Very good. Housing is expensive. Dilo conmigo. Housing is expensive. Housing is expensive. Very good. ¿Qué significa esta, esta oración? San Francisco es muy 
caro. Eh, todo es caro, la comida es cara. Eh, housing no. Housing is about your house. Es como oh. decir la vivienda. Vivienda, ok. La vivienda es cara. Eh, las compras son caras. Todo. Everything todo. Very good, Manuel. Thank you, Manuel. Dime, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. Rosa Maria. Okay. Can you hear me, Rosa Maria? Yes, I can hear you. Very good. Okay. Can you read this one? Yes. Yes, it's very famous. In America, it's famous for its bridge. We have the Golden Gate Bridge. It's the world's most famous bridge, I think. Very good. Good sound. What does this mean? ¿Qué significa? Eh, significa sí, es muy famoso en América. Es famoso por, por su puente. Nosotros eh, tenemos el, el puente Golden Gate. Es el puente más famoso del mundo, yo creo. Excellent, good. ¿No? Yes, very good. Thank you, Rosa Maria. Mm -hmm. Giving you a break. Dime, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, that was very good. Okay, I want to do this quickly because I want to move on to conversation. Maybe I'm going to do this with Lisette. Okay, Lisette, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Very good. Can you read this one, Lisette, please? Uh, never San Francisco is never hot. It is never super cold, but it is never hot. It is always warm or cold. Very good, okay. ¿Qué significa entonces? Uh, dice... Nunca en San Francisco hace, nunca hace calor. Eh, esto nunca hace frío. Okay. No hace mucho frío. Eh, pero esto es nunca caliente. Eh, esto siempre eh, hace frío. Ni frío ni como que temperado. Ok, good. Cálido. Normal, warm. It's not hot. No llega a ser hot, pero warm. Un poco menos que hot, ¿no? Okay. Thank you, Lisette. Thank you. Dime. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Don't forget that, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm going fast. I want to do it with... Who's next? Uh, Charo. Okay. Charo, can you read uh, this one? Okay, I'm letting you mute, unmute your mic. Chato, hello, can you hear me? You need to unmute your mic. Tienes que prender tu micrófono, Chato. Yes, is it working? Funciona? It's okay. Hello, Chato, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you, Chato? How are you? Yes, I am fine. Good. Fine Thank teacher. You. Thank you, thank you for coming. Okay, can you read this one? Uy, este, a ver, perdón. Voy, voy, a, voy a leerlo de mi... Okay. De, de mi... Se ha chicado todo. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Se ve solamente mi cara en toda la pantalla. <laughs> oh, my God, you need to change something. I don't know. Lo voy a copiar en el chat room, okay? A ver si lo puedes ver en el chat. Okay, I'm sorry. Ay, a, a, este, acá lo veo en mi teléfono. Okay. To, uh, uh, I, I think so. It's a very interesting city. We have people from... Uh -huh. We have people from everywhere. Uh -huh. uh, and we have good food. We have naturi no see. Uh, okay. Problem with the network. And we have interesting buildings. Good. Solo, uh, dice, solo una corrección. Pienso, solo una corrección. We have okay. nature nearby. We have nature nearby. Uh, yeah. We have nature nearby. Nearby. Very good. And we have okay. interesting. Yeah. Uh, yo pienso it's. Um, Es very, muy interesante ciudad. Nosotros tenemos people, nosotros, este, mucha gente, 
este, es de, de varias partes, ¿no? De varias partes Ajá. Y, y, y tenemos muy buena comida. De, nosotros tenemos una natural nervi, I don't know. Nearby. Nervi. Nearby significa que está cerca, que es cercano. Ahí. Entonces, Allá. we have nature nearby, es como decir, tenemos la naturaleza cerca. Allá tenemos la naturaleza cerca y nosotros tenemos interesante, interesantes edificios. Good. Ok. Well done. Well done, Charo. Thank you. Dime, thank okay. you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Charo. Ok. Who's left? ¿Quién me falta aquí? Patricia. Hello, Patricia. How are you? Can you hear me? You need to turn on your mic. Debe encender su micrófono. How are you, Patricia? I'm fine. Thanks, teacher. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I think you can uh, help me with the class, maybe. Okay. Can you read this one? Okay. Yes, of course. Chicago is very interesting. We have many museums and things to do. And we also have nature. At the lake, you can go and enjoy a day on the beach. That's right, very good. In Spanish, what do you say in Spanish? Because in sí, por supuesto, Chicago es muy interesante. Tenemos muchos museos y cosas para hacer. Nosotros también tenemos la naturaleza. En el lago, puedes ir y disfrutar un día en la playa. Good. Patricia, how was your day? Did you have a good day? Yes, it was a, a great day with my, with my students. I have the two teenagers. And in the morning, I cooked for my family. Good. What did you cook? Uh, today, I cooked um, spaghetti, red spaghetti. Red spaghetti. Good. Sounds chicken. good. With chicken. <laughs> The Great. Chicken, yeah. Making me hungry. Making me hungry. <laughs> Thank you, it's Patricia. Time for dinner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's time for dinner. Yes. I'm going to give you a break. Thank you, Patricia. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, les voy a dejar como tarea que lean todo el diálogo. Está súper fácil. Ayer lo leímos. Es cuestión de ir para ir acostumbrándonos y a aprovechar el 100% el vocabulario. Right. Ahora quiero pasar a conversation. Como saben, todos los viernes hacemos la sesión de conversation. Les quería pasar este link para que revisen todo el vocabulario que hay acá, las nuevas palabras, que escojan un tema. Yo hoy día he escogido el tema de cities. I want to introduce you to a friend. Quiero presentarles a una amiga, se llama María Fernanda. María Fernanda, can you hear me? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Good Hi, María Fernanda. Good evening. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you today? I'm good, yeah, I'm good. I've been working a lot, you know, we just keep on working. How was your day? It was really good, yeah. Okay. It was really good, thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming. Maria Fernanda is gonna help us with conversation. Ella nos va a ayudar con conversation. Los días viernes, creo que es un gran aporte a la clase, okay? She chose the topic cities. Ella me ayudó a escoger el tema cities. Ok, entonces vamos a ver la primera pregunta. Everybody turn on your mics. Pueden prender sus micrófonos. Díganme, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, Thank you, guys. Question number one. Do you like cities or the countryside? Díganlo conmigo. Do you like cities or the countryside? Do you like, Do you like cities or the countryside? Very good. Which is better and why? Which is better and why? Say it with me. Which is better and why? Which is better and why? Oh, hello, Nori. Hello, I didn't see you. How are you, Nori? Good, good teacher. How Thank are you. you? Thank you, I'm good. Thank you for coming. Okay. okay. Guys, do you like cities or the countryside? Do you like cities or the countryside? I'm going to mute the mic for a minute, okay? I think it's too noisy. Please write it in the chat room. Escriban la pregunta en el chat room. Do you like cities? Or the countryside. ¿Qué significa esta pregunta? Do you like cities or the countryside? I'm going to ask uh, Maria Fernanda. Maria Fernanda, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Well, I prefer to live in a city um, because 
there are more jobs than the countryside and there are more shops and places to have fun. So I like the city. Very good. I like the city. So if I say, do you like the yeah. city or the countryside? You choose the word. You said, I prefer. That's good. Me pueden decir, yo prefiero. No, I prefer the city. Good. I suggest, yo le sugiero que use las mismas palabras de la pregunta. No, I like the city. Okay, so tell me again, Maria Fernanda, why do you like the city? Why? Because there are more jobs and than the countryside. And there are more shops and places to have fun. Very good. There are more shops. That in the countryside. And uh -huh. there are more shops and places to have fun. To have fun. Very good. Which yeah. is better and why? Kind of like the same question, but. I'm, I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna give a simple answer. Just give me a minute, Maria Fernanda. Mute your mic. Okay. So, for example, algo sencillo. Which is better? ¿Cuál es mejor? City or the countryside? The city is better. The countryside is better. Right? The city is better. Y como dice why, con qué palabra vamos a responder? Cuando dice why, pueden prender los micrófonos ahora sí. Con why we say the city is better. Because. Because, uh -huh. very good, because the city is better because, Maria Fernanda said, there are more, there are more jobs, right? There are more jobs. Díganlo conmigo, there are more jobs. There are more, there are more jobs. jobs. There are more jobs, ¿qué significa? Hay más trabajos. Hay más trabajos. Ajá. Uh, there are better jobs, sería mejores trabajos, right? They say, they say, there are more shops and places to have fun. There are more shops. Hay más eh, tiendas. Yes, there are more shops. And there are more places to have fun. Más lugares de diversión. Yeah, there are more places to have fun. Okay, there's some noise teacher, there. Teacher, what is countryside? Good question, buena pregunta. El countryside, en, para decirlo fácil, es como decir el campo. Oh, thank you. El campo. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Una bulla ahí había, no un televisor. Ok. The countryside, ok. Vamos a ir con la segunda pregunta. Díganlo conmigo. You can make one change. Es una pregunta un poco capciosa. Entonces vamos a pensar, primero entender la pregunta. Y ya las respuestas pueden tener varias posibilidades, ¿no? Por ejemplo, aquí. Rosa María, can you help me reading the, the question? You can make one change to your country's capital city. What will you, you change? What will you change? First, hay que enfocarnos en esta parte. What will you change? Pueden decir todos conmigo, what will you change? What will, what you, will change? you change? Very good. What will you change? ¿En qué tiempo está esto? Futuro. 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 Very good. What will you change? I will change. Digamos, si tú dices I will change, yo voy a cambiar. En la realidad no, no creo que vayamos a cambiar nada. Entonces tú dices I would change. Mm -hmm. Me dejo entender. I would change. Pueden decir conmigo I would change. I would change. I would change. What would I change of Lima? What would I change? I mean, I'm talking about Lima, right? What would I change? Crowd of people, teacher. There's a lot of people. You want to get rid of the people. <laughs> the right? buses. The buses. There, there are too many buses in but the street. I would there are a lot of buses. traffic. There is a lot of traffic. There is a lot of traffic. Good. A lot of noise. Okay, good. So maybe we can say, I would change the transport I systems. Change. I would change the transport system. I would change many things. I don't know. Digan todos conmigo. I would change many things. I would change I many things. things. Would I? Would I? Esto es lo de tag questions. Me he olvidado ese tema. Para el lunes vamos a hacer lo de tag questions. Would I? Lo haría. I would change many things. I would change the transport system. Okay. I don't know. ¿Qué significa esta parte de la pregunta? You can make one change. One, you can make one change. Hacer un cambio. Yes. To your country's capital city. A la, a la ciudad capital, no? Okay. Um, who's there? Maria Fernanda, can you hear me? 
Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, can you do a question number three? Of course. Where are some of the most famous cities in the world? What makes them fam famous? What do you think? What are some of the most famous cities in the world? And what make them famous? I think that the most famous cities in the world are Madrid, Paris, Rome, uh, New York. What do you think? What are the most famous cities in the world? Okay. One, one more time. One more time, Fernanda. I think okay. some of, I mean, some of the that most. The most famous cities. I can hear the question. Some of the most famous mm -hmm. cities in the world are. Madrid. Okay. Paris, Rome, and New York. What do you think? Okay, good. I and agree. Tokyo. And Tokyo. Tokyo. <laughs> nice. What makes them famous? What makes them famous? Pueden decirlo conmigo. What makes them famous? What makes them famous? What makes them famous? ¿Qué significa what makes them famous? Que los hace famosas. Famosas. What? Right. So, por ejemplo, entonces, what are some of the most famous cities in the world? Díganlo conmigo. What are some of the most famous cities in the world? What are what are some of the most famous cities in the world? In the world. How do we answer that? ¿Cómo respondemos eso? Right. No va a pensar Madrid todavía. Okay. First of all. Some of the most famous cities in the world are. Okay, I'm getting a little noise. Creo que escucho mucha bulla de Nori. I'm sorry. This says some of the most famous cities in the world. The world. Yeah, a lot are, of cities, teacher. There are a lot of cities. Yeah. What are some of the some most of. famous cities? Pero díganlo conmigo. Vamos por partes. Some of the most famous cities in the world are. In the world. Are New uh, York, New Tokyo, York. Yep. Madrid, Madrid, Rome, Rome, Paris, Paris, Rome, Madrid, Rome, London, London, okay. London. London. What else? Um, Los Angeles. I don't know. Okay. What else? But what makes them famous? What makes them famous? What makes people famous? What makes them famous? Las famosas. Exactly, yes. Okay. What they, this, for example, famous. in Paris, we have the Eiffel Tower, no? In Paris, France, we have the... Uh-huh, the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Yes. The Eiffel Italy, Tower. we have the Roman Coliseum. The Coliseum, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can say the Eiffel Tower makes Paris famous, right? Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. What is famous in New York? Liberty, Liberty, la estatua, no sé cómo se dice. Estatua de la libertad makes it famous right. in New York. Good, the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty. The State of Liberty. Right, the Empire State Building. Empire. Many things, many things, right? But we get the question, Empire. let's go faster. Let's go to the next question. This is a trick question. I don't know. I want to ask uh, Maria Fernanda. Maria Fernanda, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What do you think that humans started living in cities? Why do you think that okay. humans started? Uh, I think that they started to live in cities because they wanted to stop nomadic lifestyles and live near others. Okay, okay, come again, okay. one more time. Can I say one more time? I think, yes, of course. I think that they started to live in cities because they wanted to stop nomadic lifestyle and live near others. Good, they wanted to stop nomadic lifestyle. Yes. Good, and live near others. They wanted to stop right? nomadic. 
Good. Okay. Probably. Probably they wanted to be safe. Okay. Yes. I don't want to go okay. faster. I just want to try to, to level with everyone. Do you know what I mean? Entonces, let's take a look. Vamos más lento. Para algunos vamos más lento, pero no vamos más rápido. You know what I mean? Let's try to find a balance. Okay, Seki. Why do you think that humans started living in cities? Okay, Rosa María, ¿qué significa esta pregunta? ¿Por qué piensas que los humanos comenzaron a vivir en ciudades? Yes, tal cual, excelente, very good. Why do you think, Patricia, why do you think? Is this a weird question? Yeah, it's an interesting question. In our mind, it's a question. In, on my, in my opinion, I think that humans started living in cities because they have a, <clears throat> a modern life, they have more opportunities, you know? I think it's more comfortable to live in a city than in a countryside. I think so too. I think you're talking about migration, right? Migrating from the countryside to the city, you find more opportunities, you find more jobs. I think you're right. But I'm thinking about ancient times. When did human beings started to create cities? You know, never mind. Maybe I'm talking too much. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes? Yes, yes, yes I can hear. Okay, what about this question? Who wants to read the next question? Maybe Charo. Charo, can you read the next question? Yeah. Do you think that we will still live in city 100 years from now? Good. Very good. Okay. Solo Charo. Ayúdame a ver qué significa esto. Este, ¿Tú piensas que nosotros este, eh, still live in the city? Nosotros este, un estilo de vida en la ciudad 100 años from ahora, now. Ok, está bastante bien. Ok. Entonces dice, si tú piensas que nosotros still quiere decir aún, en este caso. Allá, es decir, aún. Entonces still. quiere decir, we will still live. We will still live. Toda esta parte es como un solo concepto, ¿no? Está hablando en tiempo futuro. Pueden decir todos conmigo, we will still live. We will still live. Significa nosotros aún viviremos. Creo que nosotros aún viviremos in cities 100 years from now, en 100 años de ahora. Yes, no. Tú sabes, en pregunta con do, do you think yes. yes or no? Yes. Yes, I do. Dilo como yes, yes, I do. Ok, y lo, y lo siguiente sería. I think, I think we will still live you in live cities in city 100 years from now. From now. Right, si se dan cuenta, es parte del principio que yo les digo, casi toda la respuesta viene de la misma pregunta. Ok. Entonces, eso nos da ventaja para poder responder. A veces cuando, digamos, siempre lo digo, voy a apagar los micrófonos un momento, pueden decirme, thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Entonces siempre lo digo, son diferentes aspectos. Uno, lo más importante que buscamos es que uno pueda hablar, comunicarse, fluir, conversar. Para poder hablar, obviamente necesitamos conocer el idioma, las palabras, la gramática. Entonces son dos, digamos, caminos que vamos avanzando al mismo tiempo. Mientras vamos conociendo, vamos adquiriendo ese vocabulario y acostumbrándonos a hablar. Ahora, también pasa que ya tenemos el vocabulario, ya sabemos, pero a veces nos hacen una pregunta y uno como que se congela, se pone nervioso, no sabe qué responder o comienza a pensar cómo traduzco eso, cómo traduzco lo otro, pero yo sí lo sé. No, entonces, justo para evitar ese problema es que hacemos lo de conversation y nos comenzamos a acostumbrar a responder usando las mismas palabras de la pregunta. Entonces, siempre te hacen la pregunta uno ya no entra en pánico ni en nada, sino solo escuchas bien y, y ya de la misma pregunta ya sabes cómo responderla, ¿no? Entonces sabemos. Es muy importante también recordar los verbos auxiliares que se usan. Si te están preguntando con do, tú respondes con do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Siempre que es do you algo, va a ser yes o no. 
siempre, oh, do you live in a... Do you, uh, what, uh, quizá a veces, obviamente, si te habla muy rápido, le tienes que pedir que te lo diga otra vez, ¿no? Pero si lo escuchas bien, vas a poder ser responderlo, ¿no? So, por ejemplo, dicen, do you live near here? Ya sabes que va a ser yes or no. Maybe you don't understand. Quizá no lo entendieron del todo. Pero obviamente eso es la práctica, right? I don't know. I don't want to talk too much. No quiero hablar tampoco tanto, pero se trata de eso. De ir viendo las preguntas, acostumbrándonos a responder, acostumbrándonos a responder. Obviamente los días lunes vemos fundamentals. Preguntas más sencillas. Solo, what's your name? Por ejemplo, yo digo a Charo, what's your name? Me decir, my name is Charo de frente, ¿no? How old are you? Where are you from? What do you do? Pregunta, respuesta, pregunta, respuesta. Obviamente las preguntas fáciles van a poder hacerlo rápido. Luego aumentamos una pregunta más difícil, más difícil, más vocabulario. Right? Vamos avanzando juntos. Ok. There's a lot to learn. Les voy a mandar esta, esta de las eh, series para que lo revisen. Ok, lo voy a pasar a su WhatsApp. Ver, eh, leer las preguntas, ver si las entienden, ver si tienen preguntas. Estas están sencillas. Quería ir a Duolingo rápido. No sé si me va a alcanzar el tiempo. Tengo tres minutos. Just three minutes left. This is going to be simple. Just some simple questions before we finish. It's a little bit slow. Okay. Okay, guys, if you can hear me. ¿Qué pasó? Ahora sí, perdón. Si me escuchan, pueden decir yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, guys, thank you, guys. Let's just try to do this for practice. I'm not going to speak any more Spanish today. Let's get used to listening to English. We have two girls. Everybody say, we have two girls. We have two girls. We have two girls. ¿Qué significa we have two girls? Tenemos dos niñas. Tenemos dos niñas. Very good. It's a little noisy. Uh, Nori, me disculpas, pero voy a tener que parar tu micrófono por la... Por la boya. Díganlo conmigo. I have one brother. I have one brother. I have one brother. brother. One brother. Sencillo. ¿Qué significa? Tenemos un hermano. Tengo un hermano. Tengo un hermano. Brother. One brother. Yes. Tengo un hermano. Good. New cars. Everybody say new, new car. cars. New cars. Carros nuevos. Carros nuevos. Very good. Excellent. What do you need? What do, what do you need? need? ¿Qué necesitas tú? Good. ¿Qué tú necesitas? Eso es, very good. What do you need? Excellent. Ah, oh, era en español. Tenía que ponerlo en español. Yeah. We have three. Cars. Three cars. We have three cars. We have three cars. Everybody say, we have three cars. We, we have, have three cars. cars. Very good. ¿Qué significa? Tenemos tres carros. Tres carros. One girl, two boys and one girl. Two boys, two boys and, one girl. and one girl. Two boys and one girl. They have two girls. They girls. have two girls. Very good. Three girls. Three girls. Three girls. Three girls. Girls. Three girls. Three girls. Good. This one minute left. Three young, three young boys. Three young boys. Very good. Everybody three says three young boys. Three young three boys. boys. Boys and girls. Boys young. and girls. Boys, boys and girls. Boys and girls. And girls. I need a new car. I need a new, a new car. car. Yes, time is about to run out. Everybody say bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Feliz día. El thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm a father. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll see you happy, next class. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Thank you. What do you need? Car. Yes. I